Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, A.J. Wood, and we're talking Lightroom 3. Today's lesson is brought to you by MediaCats, your leading resource for instructor-led training. Let's go ahead and jump in. We're going to take a look at some of the updates they've made to importing photos. I'll start by bringing up the import dialog screen. And I want you to notice that we're in a compact view. One of the key updates I think they've made is you can clearly see where you're importing your photos from, how they're actually going to be imported, and where they're going to be imported to. If you notice on my screen, I'm importing from my compact flash. These photos will be copied, and they're going to be copied to my local computer hard drive. If I change the location of where they're imported from, notice if I pick a location on my hard drive, then Lightroom tells me these will simply be added to my existing catalog. So Lightroom 3 does a really good job of suggesting how the photos should be added to the catalog based on where they're being imported from. You'll notice in the compact view we have a limited amount of data being shown, and this is really useful for folks that don't change their import settings very often, or perhaps you're taking advantage of some of the new import presets. Yes, you can actually save your import settings as an import preset. But let's go ahead and take a look at the expanded view. In the expanded view, I want you to see and I want to emphasize that we still clearly note photos are imported from the left. We can decide how the photos should be imported. And we know where the photos are going to be imported as shown on the right side of the screen. In my case, I can choose to import photos from my camera card reader. I can choose to import photos off of my iPhone. Or I could actually select existing photos on the hard drive. In any instance, I clearly see thumbnails of what photos will be selected. I also want to point out a change to your thumbnail previews. Your plus and minus keys will now change the size of the thumbnail previews. That's a nice keyboard shortcut. It's actually the same keyboard shortcut as the library. And notice, just like the library, we can go from a grid view to a loop view. So if I choose a single image, I can actually do a zoomed loop view of that image. So that's a very nice change. I'm going to go ahead and choose my iPhone as the location for the images. I'm not going to import all of the image, but I will select just a handful. So let me go and just check a few images I'd like to import. And now let's focus our attention to changes they've made to the import side of the dialog box. One of the key changes I think that's very nice you can open up all your panels, and if I do this, notice that I have a lot of information that I have to scroll through. And one of the things they added is the solo mode. So this is something we already do inside of the develop and library and slideshow modules. But if I alt or option click on a panel arrow, it will turn on the solo mode. So now when I open a panel, all of the other panels auto collapse. So this is a nice way, especially on a small screen, as we have in the preview, I can view one panel at a time. Another feature that I want to highlight is if I decide where I want the folders or the photos to go, in this case, I'm going to just create a folder called AJ Fun. Lightroom 3 clearly shows you where on the hard drive those photos will be referenced. And notice here the folder that will be created called AJ Fun is italicized to let me know that this is going to be a created folder. I'm going to go ahead and actually import these photos. And while these photos are being imported, I want to point out that not only am I importing images, I'm actually importing some video. So let's go ahead and jump over to the import. And you can see that my imported videos actually have a video icon. So I can choose a video and actually choose to play it. I get a little play control, and if I click on this, it's going to open up my default movie player, which in my case is the QuickTime player, and I can preview this video. My daughter's a ham. So you can import video, so that's a great new addition. So I'm AJ Wood, I appreciate you dropping in. Those are some of the new import features, including video inside of Lightroom 3. You have an excellent afternoon.